Hello, this is Chip from WebVideoChefs.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a Gaussian blur and then how to keyframe it and um, get it out of there. Uh, stop the Gaussian blur, basically. So um, we have a shot that just did uh, a few days ago, a holiday shoot. So what we're going to do is we want to, it's a, it's a, it's a shot that, let's go backwards a little bit. Hold on. It starts kind of out of focus and we want to blur it. Okay, so we want to we want to blur them out, and uh, and we're gonna start it right there. Actually, we'll go back a few frames. We don't even want the uh, audio, so we're gonna just go right here, and we're gonna uh, just have video only when we put on the timeline, and we want it to blur. Okay, so we'll just take from there the whole uh, clip, and we're gonna hit W to put it on the timeline. And once we put on a timeline, um, let us enlarge the timeline. And like I said, we just wanted a video. And just to show you. Okay. All right. So we want, basically, I want it to start here, blurry. And then I want it to end after he takes his apron off. Okay. So... I'm going to put a marker. First of all, I'm, I'm going to just go back a few frames. This is my keyboard. And let's see. I'll hit an M there. Hit M again to bring up marker properties. And I'll say stop blur. All right. So then I'm going to make the timeline extra large so you can see everything. And I'm going to change the timeline properties here. And actually, let's just go here, clip appearance, and let's do here, and let's watch a clip appearance here. So we only want it to blur really a few frames, and then right right there. I may move it down a little bit more once, actually I may, I may blur right here, that may be a little better. Let's try right there, at least a second, one second blur. So I'm going to go into effects, click on the effects browser, and then I'm going to click on blur. It's already selected, so I'm going to click on Blur right here, and I'm going to click on Gaussian Blur. And once I click on Gaussian Blur, I'm going to put it on the timeline, and it's going to blur, blur everything out, okay? But of course, we don't want the whole thing blurred out. We want it blurred to right about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the inspector. The inspector is a very powerful thing. Once you click on yellow and you'll see something. So a lot of people do this. They say, you know, they click on it. They say nothing to inspect. It's nothing to inspect because you have to click on and select something. So yellow, that means it inspects it. All right. So once I do that, I'm going to put my timeline indicator at the beginning. Then I'm going to click on add a keyframe. All right. Once I add a keyframe, you hear the machine is rendering a little bit right here. And th then I'm going to go to my marker where I want it to be marked, or I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to click add another keyframe. And once I add another keyframe, I'm going to take the amount of blur down to zero. All right. So you see him putting that on there. So right here, you see. And there it is. It's blurred. It's, it's blurred out. So again, you have to go here. Hit the keyframe, and then you go right here where you want to go and hit another keyframe and then do your blur mount. Now, here's a great question a lot of people ask. What if you made a mistake? And what if you don't want it to blur it at that certain time? Great question. Glad you asked. What I'm going to do here is go click on the clip again. Go up to clip, and then I'm going to show show video animation. Once I show, and close the effects browser here, once I show video animation, I not only see, I see my markers here, I can always move my markers around or down, something like that, but what I'm going to do is see my blur amount and see where I have it. So I have my blur stopping right here. As you see the slider, see it goes from 50 to right there. Say if I want it to go right here, I can just, this keyframe, I can just move it down some. So watch what happens now. Okay, I'm going to just play it because it plays it really fast. It's a second blur. So I'm going to play it and go. And remember, this is rendering in real time. And there it is right there. 
it goes down. So the amount, I can click on this arrow. I can go horizontal, amount, vertical, everything like that. I can see the amount right there. And if I wanted to do another incremental change or something else like that, I can just click on another keyframe right here. Watch. Keyframe, and then I could do another blur right there and go back down and then I can click on that hit a keyframe and then put it down to zero again so let's watch it through real quick and uh, let's go and that blurs real quick all right now if you want to delete that so another question is if I want to delete it you're going to click on it and then you're going to just hit the delete key click click on the keyframe what I do I click on it then I hit the delete key all right, so that is keyframing, blur, and effects basically works the same way in Final Cut Pro 10. For more video tutorials, visit us at webvideochefs.com or follow us on Twitter at webvideochefs. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.